but despite this game receiving new patches, newer bugs are popping up every month. So I've compiled a list of the most dangerous and impactful bugs for hardcore players. As these are bugs and not game mechanics, they are prone to change. So I'll keep a pinned comment down below. It'll be updated if any bugs are fixed. Let's jump right in. Starting off, there is a rare bug with your health bars not updating for other players, typically after a relog. If you log off to preserve buffs or wait on your dungeon group, there's a chance you'll get this bug. Here's a clip of it happening in Dire Mall East. Notice this is on default UI with no add-ons. Veblen is clearly being attacked by mobs, but his health bar isn't moving. He even eats a blast wave without taking damage. Here is another clip from Parla's POV where he is clearly taking damage from giants. However, on my POV, I am using default target frames, so no add-ons to interfere, and Parla's health bar is not moving, resulting in his death from no heals. We haven't been able to track down an exact cause of the bug, but we're certain it's from logging off while inside of a group. Thankfully, there are two precautions you can take against it. First, unequip and re-equip a piece of gear with stamina. Updating your stamina value fixes the bug. Secondly, by simply having every player slash reload, this makes sure their frames are functioning correctly. Secondly, there is currently a bug with patrolling caster monsters if you line a sight too quickly after pulling them. They continue pathing for a few seconds while aggro to you, allowing them to social aggro extra monsters. This is typically a problem when you send out a projectile, like a wand missile or an arrow, then go behind a wall while it's in the air. This can be extremely scary in dungeons like Strat Undead, where the gargoyles are fast moving mobs and can easily reach other monsters to get help. If you let the caster start casting a spell, then line of sight, they behave normally and come straight to you. There's a new bug with split pulling. If you don't know what a split pull is, I have a handy guide on my channel. Just click the annotation on the top right. A TLDR is if you use an AoE ability on a group of mobs, like Rain of Fire or Blizzard, the monsters will be on separate leash timers, and you can single out a specific enemy and the others will reset. With this new bug, the monsters will reset as intended, however, once they reach their reset location, they immediately re-aggro and come chasing you again, which can be very deadly if you're not ready for it. However, you can counteract this by simply pulling the mob you're trying to split pull more than 15 seconds away from the initial spawn location. This way, the mobs will always reset again before they reach you. These mobs still respect normal leashing rules, even when bugging out, so they will always reset if you're more than 15 seconds away. Again, if you wish to understand leashing and split pulling better, please watch my full video. Lots of L's. Why are you aggroing? What the fuck? What the hell? That is not how that works, Blizzard. Next, we have aggro drops. In the open world, if you do not directly engage with a mob, whether by damaging it, healing near it, or using a potion, they should not aggro to you. And if they do aggro, you get put in combat to notify you. However, once again, sometime recently, Monsters seem to aggro to you when they drop from someone else without any warning. This is unintended behavior, as they should reset normally if you don't perform any actions to be put on their threat table, or at the very least should put you in combat when you aggro them. If you see another player near you running away from monsters, take this as your cue to also run, as it's very possible the monsters will attack you next. Next up is Underwater Disconnects. Underwater combat is dangerous under normal circumstances. However, recently, something happened that caused frequent disconnects while moving underwater. The main culprit seems to be anything that modifies your move speed. This could be getting dazed, holding spacebar, spells such as charge and blink, etc. The monsters in Desolus do a frost shock, which slows your speed and is a big reason there's so many DCs in that zone in particular. My recommendation is never do underwater quests until it's fixed, or at the very least, stay very close to the surface so you can resurface quickly if needed. Speaking of water, the water on a few European servers is completely broken. Not all of EU, but three servers in total, with one of them being Hydraxian Waterlords, the unofficial hardcore server. Because why wouldn't that be one of the bug servers? Any NPC that tries to swim in water on these servers falls through the map and evades out. Even escort mobs that have to cross rivers fall through and fill their escorts. 
This is especially dangerous because sometimes the monsters resurface at your location, doing large amounts of unexpected damage before disappearing again without any counterplay. I would recommend avoiding water quests entirely in EU. In regards to quest escorts, in some cases, you can mark the NPC and follow their mark above the ground to prevent them from failing. However, some quests simply go too far down and fail no matter what. Okay, that about wraps up this video. As always, if you learned something or just like hearing me talk, maybe click the like button for me. The like to dislike ratio helps me know what kind of content you guys want to see more of. As always, thank you for my patrons on Coffee for supporting this video, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!